I live on the island of Maui. I've been in Hawaii for 42 years, shaping pretty much that whole time. Moved to Hawaii in 1971 and started my shaping career in Hawaii around 1974. Started out shaping shortboards in the 70s, single fin shortboards is what I started on. In the 80s I worked for Town & Country on Oahu and I did some boards for people such as Denton Miyamura, Sonny Garcia, I've always been a longboard connoisseur. I got into shaping classic style longboards as well as progressive style longboards and became very involved in windsurfing and I've done windsurf boards and now I've gotten into doing stand-up paddle boards. But my, my love always goes back to surfboards. Living on Maui is great. The lifestyle here is, is really laid back. And we got good surf. It's, it's a windy island, but, but it has its moments of glory. From a shaper's perspective, living on Maui, we have three of the premier wave spots in the world, Ma'alaya, Honolulu Bay, and Jaws. Jaws is a premier big wave spot. Ma'alaya is a down-the-line speed tunnel ride, and Honolulu Bay is just a perfection performance wave. Now, if you can design boards for all three of those, spots you've got it covered pretty much as well as the windy conditions we have locally here on the North Shore such as Okipa. Today I'd like to talk about my 8-foot signature mini tanker. The board is 8 feet long, 22 inches wide, and 2 and 3 quarters thick. It's got a nice flat area through the middle with kicking the tail and kicking the nose. I'd like to start at the tail being the most important part. It is flat behind the fins. This is good acceleration. It has, it has rocker in the tail. In the fin area, we have a slight V. The V gives it a good rail-to-rail -rail characteristic. And then as we move up in the nose, it moves into a single concave. This gives the board more lift in the nose. It's good for paddling into waves as well as nose riding. The 8-foot mini tanker has a nice hard edge in the tail. This makes the board release very well, makes it really fast and has good release. The hard edge fades out in front of the fins into a nice soft rail. It's still a down rail, but it's a soft down rail. This gives the board a, a vertical characteristic. It's really loose, it's very forgiving. And in conjunction with the full V through the bottom of the board, the board will go rail to rail and up the face of the wave. I recommend this board for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. The eight foot signature mini tanker shaped by Bill Foote is good for all around conditions. Whether you're a beginner or whether you're an accomplished surfer, this is a progressive board and a progressive board even if you're beginning, is going to do you good. There's no reason to have an inferior board when you're beginning. I recommend this board for everybody that enjoys power surfing, uh, styling, big waves, small waves. It's a good all-around board. All right, I hope everything I've explained to you has helped you out, and I hope to see you in the water. Aloha.